option. This is S K M D K back with another video. So today I'll be showing you how I dealt with issues of poor to no Wi-Fi signal in some parts of my house. These are usually called Wi-Fi dead zones or Wi-Fi dead spots. This is usually caused by the distance from your main Wi-Fi router. So obviously, the further you are from your main Wi-Fi router, the poor the signal and eventually no signal. Now the other main cause is usually because of interference. So this was specifically my main problem because of the fact that the slab separating the top and the bottom floor was thick and because of that there was then now interference for the Wi-Fi signal. Now if you're in a similar situation then I have a solution. So without wasting time let's get right into the solution. Firstly there are many ways to sort out this issue. You can either use a Wi-Fi extender a Wi-Fi power line extender or a mesh setup that in increasing order of costliness. Now I'm going to specifically show you the Wi-Fi power line extender option because this is what I've also used in my house. And what I also like about this is the fact that it uses the electrical connection in your house. So meaning that actually you can be able to transfer the signal within your house basically anywhere where you have an electrical socket within your house. Now that's cool. So I'll specifically be showing you the TP-Link AV600 Powerline Wi-Fi kit. I'm going to start with showing you how to set it up and also give you my thoughts because I've been using this device for roughly around five months and really give you where my thoughts on whether I think you should get this or not if you have Wi-Fi dead zone issues. So let's get right into first looking at how to set it up. So let's look at how to set it up. Firstly, what we have inside the box is two Ethernet cables, right? And then you also then get this device, which is the one that receives the internet signal. And then you also then get this device, which is the one that broadcasts that signal within that room where you have that Wi-Fi dead zone, right? So looking at this one, it has a pair button and some icons. And also this one also has some icons. Now, there's also a pair button below and you'll see why I'm showing you that one for now. The first thing you really wanna do is to make these two devices talk to each other, meaning that you want to pair them up so that they're able. this one is able to receive the internet signal and then send it to this one for this one to broadcast it into a Wi-Fi dead zone, right? So what you wanna first do, as I said, you wanna mesh it up. To mesh it up, you, what they suggest is to put them on the same electrical socket or electrical section, which is what I'm doing now. If you don't have one that's like this, you can also put it in the same extension cable, just that you want them to be at least close to each other for them to pay up, right? And then you also then wanna connect the other one close to um, the socket. So looking at how to pair it up, you wanna first press the pair button while connected, press and hold it until it starts blinking the power button, right? So now it's starting to blink, right? meaning that it's ready to pay. Then wanna, what you wanna do is you wanna then press the other pair button I showed you just, uh, just a few seconds ago on the other device, which is this one. You wanna press it within two minutes after you press that one, right? And then when they are then synced, you will see by the lights all being uh, green, right? See, these two lights are now green, and they're also green on this side, meaning that now they are now talking to each other, which is then perfect, meaning that now they are paired, meaning that this is able to send the signal to the other one. Then secondly, what you want to do is, you want to now connect one of your Ethernet cables from your, your main router. So this is my router. What I'm going to do is, just on one of the Ethernet cables where you would connect, if you would connect straight to a laptop, we're going to connect one of the supplied Ethernet cables and then connect the other end to the smaller device, right? The one that I said receives the internet signal, right? So what I'm going to do is I'll just connect it there, right? Now it's connected. And you'll see that now there's all the three lights are on. And the reason for that, the last line is the last light is really just telling you if it's receiving an internet signal. So now it's on because it's receiving an internet signal. Now, what you'll also then see is, this one actually, the signal is already being shared. Now to see if indeed that is the case, 
right we'll have to see if we can connect to the other one now what you let's see if we, if it's available we should be able to find tp link right tp link triple eight six i know if all the devices will be triple eight six but something that says tp link so meaning this is the name of this wi-fi signal so meaning that now actually we have now two hotspots wi-fi hotspots my main one which is this one u16 as well as then this one then what you want to do is you want to then connect to that one right now i've already connected on this one before so that's why it's just connecting uh, instantly if you've never connected before there's a password on the side of the bigger device which is the one you're going to then use to connect to so you'll just see the tp link and then connect to so now you'll see it's connected now to see if it's working correctly the first thing to do would be to test the speed now um, i have a 10 meg line um, so if it's it's if it's already receiving the signal correctly i should be getting the same speed of 10 megabits per second all right so let's just test that So yeah, so now we're getting the same speed, which is what I have available from my main internet service provider. So meaning that what we have now means, means that we've actually now successfully been able to transfer the internet signal from our main router into the other um, device, which is the one that broadcasts the internet signal. So at this point, we're actually now done broadcasting the internet signal. What you then want to do is take this bigger device and put it into your room where you have a wi-fi dead zone now you're going to be able to connect because now we're sure that the internet signal is going from our main router into the smaller device and into the bigger device which is the one that broadcasts the internet now what you want to what you what you can think already is the fact that when you saw that it means that now we have two wi-fi names which is not really optimal you rather have one internet name or one Wi-Fi name because anyway, you just have one uh, internet provider, right? So what you want to do is you want to change the Wi-Fi name of the bigger device and you want to set it to the same name as your main Wi-Fi router, as well as then also changing the password of this one to the main Wi-Fi router password. Then that way you will be able to, to, to have the same name and be able to sort of move seamlessly, whether you're in the room where the wi main Wi-Fi router is, or in the other room where you had the Wi-Fi wi dead zone, you're gonna still be able to connect to the same Wi-Fi name. Now to do that, you wanna go to tp-link, see tp-link plc.net, right? You'll see that it asks you the password now the password here is just admin so you can just type admin just login right now we're in so let me just open so that we can see a bigger screen right then what you want to do you want to go to wireless right and then then go to settings right so now you'll see there the network name is the tp link triple eight six and as i said we want to change it to be the same name as your main wi-fi router so mine I'll change it so i've just entered my network details the name as well as then the password then it asks you if you wanna if you sure you wanna change them they just say continue right saving it says failed but i believe well let's see because it did that before but it actually did work so Let's see if it's working, then we're not going to be able to see TP Link 886 again. So let me switch off my Wi Fi and on again for it to search the Wi Fi signals. So now you can see we only have one Wi Fi signal name, meaning that now the TP Link has now also been changed to the same name as, the, as well as the same password as my main Wi Fi router. Now, at this point, as I said, you've now optimally set it up. Then what you want to then do is you want to move this to the room there where you have a wi-fi dead zone now that's what i'm going to do next so i wanted to show you that indeed there's a wi-fi dead zone issue in this room first so that we can sort it out with this little device so you can see that i don't even get my wi-fi signal anymore in this room 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, to sort it out. You'll see that sometimes I do get my Wi-Fi signal actually, but it's very poor. You see, it's like one or two bars. So we're going to sort it out with this one. Now to sort it out, as I said, you just connect. Right? It connects. And then we'll wait for the third light, which is what shows that the Wi-Fi has now been broadcasted. So now that first two light actually shows that it's on as well as then that it did, it's receiving or it's connected to the power line uh, system from the smaller device, all right? So once it's sharing the Wi-Fi, you see now the third one is on, is on meaning that now it's sharing the Wi-Fi signal. And we can see that, right? Let's disconnect and connect again. You see? Now it's connecting at full bars, meaning that this is now being, my phone is now able to actually receive the signal because this is now broadcasting the signal from my main Wi-Fi router. And we can actually even test the speed. Right? Again, let's test the speed again. We should be getting around 10 megs. See? So, meaning that this actually has now sort out my Wi-Fi dead zone issue, meaning that even in this room, I'm able to then get my Wi-Fi signal. So, so that was it really how to set it up and how to um, get it going and sort out your Wi-Fi dead zone. Um, and also, as I said, I'm going to share my experience. I've been using this for around five months and it's really working uh, apart from occasionally probably like once a month sometimes i need to reboot this one and just meaning disconnect and connect because sometimes it's like i don't get the signal even my wi-fi dead zone room uh but besides that it's working seamlessly and i actually forgot to also show you that if you look at the bottom you also have extra ethernet cables so that if you have a laptop you can even share the signal in this room by connecting the ethernet cable in this device as well as then to your laptop meaning that you're still getting optimal speeds so so this is optimal because it means that it can work in any room in your house as long as it's connected to the same power line system so if you have another room that has an issue you can just take this device and put it on the other side and what i well i don't have another device but what i know is you can also buy an extra sort of broadcaster the bigger device and you can have multiple ones in your room. So if you have a, even a bigger house or even Wi-Fi dead zone issue, you can even buy more of this and put in each and every room where your Wi-Fi dead zone and it will be sorted. And I mean, as, as you can see, when I showed you there, it's really the best in terms of fact that there's not even a drop in speed. So everything's still working optimal. As It's as if like I have my main router also in this room where I, I usually have a Wi-Fi dead zone. So I also wanted to show you where you can get it. I got it from Take A Lot. It's 1,500 currently. I actually think I got it at a cheaper price before, I think 1.2, but I think I still think it's uh, good value for money. And as I said, you can actually buy an extra extender, uh, another AV600 extender, meaning that, as I said, you can even get this and put it into other rooms where you have a Wi-Fi dead zone. So really, this will sort out your Wi-Fi dead zone issues. So yes, I hope you learned a lot and that you are now ready to set out your Wi-Fi dead zones. Cheers.